So in this problem, we need to find out the circumcenter of a triangle with vertices given by negative 2 comma negative 3, negative 1 comma 0 and 7 comma negative 6. So here we have a triangle which is circumscribed inside a circle. We'll call the vertices as A, B and C such that A has the coordinate negative 2 comma negative 3. Suppose B has the coordinates negative 1 comma 0 and C has the coordinate 7 comma negative 6. Our goal will be to determine the center of the circle or the circumcenter of the triangle. Let us begin. So what we'll do, we'll do a construction first. So we'll call the center as O. So if we join OB, we join OA and we join OC, that's going to be the radius of the circle. So since they are the radius, that's the same radius of the same circle. So here we can say that length of OA must be equals to length of OB and that must be equals to length of OC. So this is known. So let this be equation number one. Now what we'll do, we'll use equation OA equals to OB. Now before doing that, let's also specify the coordinate of the center O. So let this be x comma y. Now how do we find out the length OA? For this we'll have to use the distance formula. So that will be simply, we'll take the square root. Underneath the square root, we'll take the difference of the x coordinate. So since we are considering OA, the difference of the x coordinate will be x minus minus 2. So we'll have x plus 2 whole squared. Add it to the square of the difference of the y coordinate. So we have y minus of negative 3. So we have y plus 3 whole squared. So that's the length of OA. And this must be equals to the length of OB. So OB will then be equals to, we'll take the square root, then underneath the square root, we'll have to take the difference of the x coordinate. So that's simply x minus negative 1. That means we have x plus 1 whole squared. And this will be added to the difference of the y coordinate, which will be simply y minus 0 squared. Okay, so let's take the square on both sides. And this is going to get rid of the square root. So we now have x plus 2 whole squared plus y plus 3 whole squared. This will be equals to x plus 1 whole squared plus y squared. Expanding x plus 2 whole squared, we get x squared plus 4x plus 4. Add it to y plus 3 whole squared. So that will be y squared plus 6y plus 9 equals to, now we'll expand x plus 1 whole squared on the right hand side to get x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared. So here we can cancel out x squared from both sides. We can also cancel out y squared from both sides. And that li leaves us with 4x, uh, let's write it down, 4x plus 6y plus 9 plus 4. That's going to be 13 on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we have 2x plus 1. Let's transpose 2x plus 1 to the left hand side. And we have 2x plus 6y plus 12 equals to 0. Or simply, we have x plus 3y plus 6 equals to 0. So let this be equation number 2. Now, what we'll do? We'll take OB equals to OC. So if we take OB, now we'll take OB equals to OC. So this we can apply the distance formula. So we've already obtained for OB. So OB, this is the part. So let's write it down. We have x plus 1 whole squared plus y squared. This will be equals to OC. So the OC will be the square of the difference of the x coordinate. So we'll have x minus 7 and the difference of the y coordinate will be y plus 6. So we have x minus 7 whole squared added to y plus 6 whole squared. So let's simplify this equation and this is going to give us we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared. That will be equals to x squared minus 14x plus 49 plus y squared plus 12y plus 36. We can cancel out x squared from both sides and y squared from both sides. So here we have 2x plus 1 that's equals to negative 14x plus 12y plus so 49 plus 36 is going to be 85. Okay, so we'll transpose all the terms to the left hand side. So 14x plus 2x will be 16x minus 12y 
then we have 1 because 1 minus 85 that's going to be 84 that's equals to 0 so we can factor out 4 from each of the terms so we have 4x minus 3y minus 21 equals to 0 so that gives us a new equation equation number 3 now we can solve equation number 2 and equation number 3 because that are two linear equations with x and y and this is going to give us the value of x and y so let's do that so let's add the two equations so 4x plus x that will be 5x 3y and negative 3y cancels out 6 minus 21 that's 15 equals to 0 so solving for x we get x equals to 3 now we can substitute this three value x equals to 3 back in equation number 2 3 plus 3y plus 6 equals to 0 so 3y will be equals to negative 9 the y comes out to be negative 3. So that means we are finally obtained the value. So x equals to 3 and y equals to negative 3. Or simply we can say the point or the coordinate of the center is going to be 3 comma negative 3. So let's go back to our options. So here option A, that's going to be the correct value. 3 comma negative 3 is going to be the circumcenter of the triangle.